Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder keg, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. to salute to get this post. Right, huh? I figure since no one knows about the escape tunnel, this is the easiest gig in town. I mean, all we gotta do is... Oh, shit! What? Shit! I forgot to leave the all-access keycard in the parking garage. Oh, are you kidding? Uh, I need to get back there before Exo tears me a new one. All, all right, I'll hold down the fort. Take the tunnel, it's way faster. Yeah, yeah.
How you doing? General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. General Zaydan says the man's a traitor, and that's all there is to it. Probably got cold feet about the operation and tried to rat us out. Ask the captain. He'll know. It's so important. That's why. cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny uniform and an ego to match. You got that right. I tell you, I don't care what anyone says, that Satan's not all he's cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny uniform and an ego to match. You got that right. <laughs> what the bloody... Those dogs are going to regret this. of your minds. You think you can just disrespect your superiors without consequences? Shame on you. I should have you both court-martialed. Now get back to your posts. Sir, I... Command, this is Sierra Niner. We've got a Target down. Incident. Move on to Klaus Strand. Soldier. We are on full alert. General Zayden is dead. I repeat, General Zayden is dead. I am assuming command and issuing a full gag order until the circumstances behind the incident have been determined. Soldier. Hello, trooper.
could just about strangle you. Stomach cramps? What kind of idiot eats shellfish from a buffet in this heat? Relax, Pam. I hired a local cameraman. He's a freelance guy. He'll be fine. Oh, well, if you're not worried, Tyler, then I'm not worried. After all, it's not like this is a very important interview. I mean, it's certainly not like it's an exclusive or anything. Pam, you remember that talk we had about low blood sugar? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is one of those times. Oh, so where is this guy anyway? He'll be here. And you... Klaus Strandberg has agreed to an exclusive interview with celebrity GNN reporter Pam Kingsley, no doubt to enrage the public even further. This could be a way inside the lockdown consulate, and the replacement cameraman, a local freelancer, is yet to arrive. You have a, and you have a banana. Would you believe my luck? I'm at the lobby checking out and I hear this big shot producer from GNN on the phone with an agency desperate to get a cameraman for an interview with Claus Hugo Strandberg. Strandberg, the, the banker. Do you ever watch the news? Anyway, I tap him on the back, show him my press pass, and the guy is so relieved that he just paid a month's salary. A minute. Hey, stay safe. Where have you been? 
Sorry I'm late. Streets aren't safe. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Pam Kingsley, GNN News. My name is... According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. Camera I must guy, say I was up? surprised that Consul Olander authorized this interview. Adding fuel to the fire, I should think. But that is not my call. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest, yes? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson. Excuse me, you're making me very uncomfortable. Uh -huh. Maybe rubber puts a dog or something it. instead. Very good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Mm. I watch your show all the time. You're even the in the flesh. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no, please, please, call me Klaus. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're Camera ready. rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights upstairs somewhere? Thanks, bud. Okay, we're ready if you want to see Access to the consulate and first row seats for the interview. Nicely done, 47. It is not fair. It is. It isn't. 
You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I put that down. What? Hey, don't. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. I think I found a dangerous weapon. Yeah, thank you. Stand back, okay? Uh, rent a cop is now in action. Sure thing. the relaxed look, mister. Massage expert Connie Angstrom report at the reception desk. That was Connie Angstrom. Please go to the reception desk. Connie Angstrom, Monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Ah, oh, Mr. Angstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Klaus Strandberg, go to the massage room. Your session awaits. I repeat, you wouldn't Klaus have any weapons Strandberg, on you, sir. please no go to the massage room. Free. The new look, Connie. Just a second. Assume the position, please, sir. Arms to the side, legs apart. Great. Do you spread your legs a little more? Thanks. Flying colors. Go ahead, sir. So, oh, the man with the golden touch. Well, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please. 
Call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Ah, that's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 